Hi, I'm Stacy Kinyanji and welcome to my channel. I do content on skincare, hair care, food and restaurant reviews, book reviews, vlogs and so much more. If that sounds like your thing, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified every single time I post. Today's video is yet another sunscreen review and the sunscreen in question is the Matcha Hydrating Real Sunscreen by the brand B-Lab. B-Lab is a K-beauty brand that claims to offer high quality products with natural ingredients that are not only good for your skin but they're also good for the environment. They have a 4B philosophy that stands for be with life best quality, best ingredient, and better environment. Products from B-Lab are said to work well even with sensitive skin, and that's because they use natural ingredients that make up gentle yet effective formulas. This particular product does not contain any animal ingredients or any animal derived ingredients, so that makes it vegan friendly. And they also don't test on animals, so it's cruelty free. I should have kept you close, I should have held you tighter Cause in my book you were my favorite chapter And when we left each other, damn, what was I thinking? Thought there was no answer, so blinded to believe it Now, you're probably thousands of miles away And it's been years since I've seen your smiling face And even though I took measures for all I still dream about you lately and I knew she one of the few sunscreens I've applied that goes on colorless and that makes the application time super short and super effortless. It's white in color with a lightweight cream or gel texture. It's also a little bit watery which makes for a fluid application. It does not irritate the skin or the eyes and it also doesn't leave a sticky or greasy finish. Instead, it leaves your skin feeling moisturized and soft. When it comes to the finish, it leaves your skin with a dewy or a shiny look but if you prefer a matte look that's easily fixable with a bit of powder. This sunscreen comes in SPF 50 with a rating of PA++++ so that gives you the maximum protection you can get from a sunscreen. It's also a chemical sunscreen that offers UVA and UVB protection. Sunscreens are generally grouped into two main categories and that's a physical sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen. The difference between the two is a physical sunscreen, also known as a mineral sunscreen, works by creating a physical barrier on your skin. This type of sunscreen sits on top of your skin and acts as a shield against UV rays. That's why they can also be called sunblock because they literally block the sun rays that can be damaging to your skin. Chemical sunscreens, on the other hand, absorb into the skin and they work by converting UV rays into heat and that heat is then released from your body through the skin. Does it really matter what kind of sunscreen you buy? Well, depending on your purchase, you might end up really loving how it feels to use a sunscreen or you might really hate how it feels on your skin and how difficult it is to apply. With that in mind, here are the main differences that can help you buy the sunscreen that is right for you. Physical sunscreens work immediately they're applied on the skin. 
but they also wear out easily so you need to reapply frequently. They can also feel sticky and heavy on the skin and they often leave a white cast which is very visible especially if you're a person of color but the skincare industry has come really far so there's definitely some great formulas out there that do seem to also work for skin of color personally i haven't yet tried any sunblock or physical sunscreen that did work on my skin without a white cast but maybe one day I'll try a brand that does work. On the other hand, chemical sunscreens do require for you to wait for a bit of time before you step into the sun. Most packages do mention how long you're supposed to wait, but in general I've seen that it's usually between 15 to 30 minutes. They usually have a thin lightweight formula and personally I do find them to be more ideal, especially if you're wearing other products such as makeup or you have a skincare routine with a lot of steps. The most important factor that I usually consider is that chemical sunscreens usually do not leave a white cast, even on skin of color. If you want to know whether a product is a chemical sunscreen or a physical sunscreen, here are a few things that you can look out for. You can look at the label. If it has a label written mineral sunscreen or sunblock, then it's a physical sunscreen. Another thing you can do is look at the ingredients. If you spot leading ingredients like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, then it's a physical sunscreen. That's because those are the usual UV filters that are used in physical sunscreens. And if you spot ingredients like these, those are chemical UV filters that are usually used in chemical sunscreens. But there's also a third type of sunscreen and this sunscreen is called a hybrid sunscreen. A hybrid sunscreen contains both chemical and physical UV filters. So if you spot a mixture of the ingredients I've just mentioned, then it's probably a hybrid sunscreen. I find that hybrid sunscreens really do give you the best of both worlds, but this can vary from person to person. For example, the Cosrx sunscreen is a sunscreen that works like a charm on my skin. It's moisturizing, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, it doesn't feel sticky, and it doesn't feel suffocating, and it also doesn't have a white cast. But I have seen other reviewers, especially people with deeper skin tones, complain that it does indeed leave a white cast on their skin. So it really does vary from person to person when it comes to using a hybrid sunscreen. Aside from the dewy, shiny look that it leaves on your skin, I really really love this sunscreen. This sunscreen would honestly be a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for the fact that I don't really like that dewy shiny look because I do have oily skin. Still, it's a beautiful formula that I would definitely buy again and I do plan on buying it again. I've seen some reviewers compare this to the Purito Daily Go-To Sunscreen. While this one is purely a chemical sunscreen, the Purito one is a hybrid sunscreen. Personally, I'm yet to try the Purito sunscreen, but going off of other reviews, if you like the Purito sunscreen, then you'll most likely like this sunscreen too. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel.